How's it going everybody? This is Rob and today I'm going to be unboxing these Kratos S3 speakers from Creative. These are under the Sound Blaster X Pro Gaming line of speakers, but honestly, <laughs> they're not super high end. They retail for about 80 bucks, but I think a more fair street price street price would be about 60 bucks. In fact, I bought these for 60 bucks from Fry's Electronics and they seem to have them on sale pretty much all the time. Every once in a while they won't be on sale, but I think uh, if, you, you, if you look, you'll probably find them for 60 bucks. Uh, typically you kind of get what you pay for when you come, when you get to uh, these types of things. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and get to the unboxing. Uh, this is a 2.1 set of speakers. They have, uh, again, two kind of like satellite speakers and then one um, subwoofer. And it's rated at um, 92 watts peak, but I'll be honest, I'm not an audiophile, so I won't be able to break that down <laughs> very much. I just know that the higher the watts, the better. At least that's what I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, from what I understand, you know, it just it's, that just determines how loud it is. And of course, it's not going to uh, affect the quality. You can have a very high wattage and very crappy quality, but again, I'm not, I'm not shooting for the moon on these guys here. So, okay, so there's the two style. I mean, there's probably not gonna be a whole bunch in here. Sound Blaster X Pro Gaming Kratos S3 from Creative. And I remember Creative was a big name in gaming. They were, basically, if you did any PC gaming in the 80s or 90s, uh, mostly 90s, I guess, you knew Creative because they your games had to have a Creative Labs uh, Sound Blaster in it in order to get decent sound. Otherwise, you were stuck with the beeps of the internal PC speaker. So a lot of games were just programmed, were actually programmed for creative hardware. Now, not so much. Um, I know they do make some PC peripherals and stuff, but they've kind of fallen by the wayside as far as I'm concerned. I don't even know if they make, uh, I haven't kept up with it. I don't even know if they still make video cards because I remember having some voodoo video cards back in the day. So yeah, I mean, again, pretty standard stuff. I will try these at the end. I will compare them to what I currently have and uh, I'll find the model numbers on the ones that I already am using. But uh, I figured it'd be kind of interesting. I just I just didn't find a lot of information on these guys. I couldn't find almost any. So I don't know if there were new products at the time. Honestly, I haven't looked in the last couple of months since I did buy these speakers two months ago. They could have been just brand new at the time. So well, they're pretty attractive looking. They're pretty sizable actually. And I think that they have a remote. I hope they have a remote so that I can control the volume. And I don't mean a remote like a wireless remote. I mean a wired remote. Uh, the one I have right now that I use on my Sony BVM setup has a wired remote and it comes in pretty handy. Sometimes they have uh, auxiliary inputs on those wired remote parts as well. Okay, so here is the right speaker usually is the one that has, so there's the auxiliary port, or maybe that's, no, that's a headphone port. So you're able to plug in some headphones. That, that's a nice feature, I like that. All right, so there's the volume control and power. Okay, cool. And then here we go with the subwoofer. I'm gonna go ahead and move this box off of here. You can take a look at this. guys take a look at that um it's a subwoofer <laughs> it's a box with a hole in it and the subwoofer is actually the speaker is actually at the bottom pointed towards the ground so you know it's a subwoofer pretty standard on the back let's take a look so it looks like it's got uh, you know the volume for the subwoofer how powerful you want it and here you go with the speakers the right speaker looks like it has the uh it has a different port because it has the volume control and the headphone out, so it has to have additional um, pins for that. But this looks like it's just outputting straight to a speaker. And what do we have here? Oh, it's just power. And okay, and the input. So um, most speakers come with this 3.5 millimeter, at least in this range, come with 3.5 millimeter connection. So you just plug it into your PC or your laptop or Heck, even your iPod or iPhone or whatever. Actually, not your iPhone 7, unless you have an adapter. Uh, I hate that, by the way. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty standard. 
let's see what it says in the back here. Probably should take a look at the box a little bit closer to make sure that uh, I didn't miss a specific feature. It's hard to place this. Uh, it's kind of crooked, but you get the idea, I think. Um, here is the right speaker. And it has that special end there. Yeah, there's nothing else in the box, so <laughs> you get these three little boxes. You know, the company cables are all attached, so there's not even anything. There's there's nothing else in the box. Everything you see here is uh, what's in the box. You have a warranty card, which whatever, uh, manual, and probably like warnings or whatever, safety regulation, exactly. I'm gonna take a quick look at this thing. I can't imagine there'd be too much into it. It's probably like in 12 languages. Yeah, I can already see. Uh, technical, maybe you, you all interested in technical specifications. Hey guys, it's got a power LED and the headphones out. Pretty amazing, huh? Uh, product name, it's a Kratos S3 MF0475. It's got a total total watt rating of 46 RMS, whatever that means. Satellite, two times 11 watts. The subwoofer is 24 watts, so I guess we add those up. Frequency responses, 60 hertz, 20 to 20 kilohertz. Uh, input rating 100 to 204, so basically boring shit. Uh, don't operate outside of freezing weather, etc., etc., etc. Oh, well, you know, I think we can figure it out. There's not a whole lot to this, so let me just um, plug these suckers in, and I'll do kind of a test against the existing speakers that I have, and uh, we'll see how they sound. I'll be right back. All right, guys, it's time to put these Kratos S3 speakers to the test. I have them set up alongside three other inexpensive sets of speakers, the $40 Cyber Acoustic 3602s, which have the dual speaker set up there, the $20 Logitech Z150s, which do not have a subwoofer, and the internal speakers on the ASUS VX238 monitor as a baseline reference. For my audio, I will be using the Turbo Duo game Lords of Thunder. I may test out a couple of other games as well, just for fun, but Lords of Thunder has some wicked awesome tunes and nice sound effects. To record the audio, I set up a blue Yeti mic two feet away from the speaker setup, and I've taken the volume knobs and turned them all the way up on all these speakers, and if they have any bass level control, like the Kratos S3 and Cyber Acoustic 3602, which have subwoofers, I went ahead and turned the bass all the way up as well. Now I realize that this is not a perfect setup, but I think it will still give you a pretty good idea of how the Kratos S3 speakers compare uh, to other inexpensive speakers. Okay, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get the testing started. We're gonna start off our test with the ASUS VX238 internal speakers. So here we go. Now we're going to move on to the Z150s. All right, next we're going to try the Cyber Acoustic 3602s.
All right, next we're going to try the Kratos S3 speakers. <laughs> Right, the Kratos and the Cyber Acoustic speakers both have subwoofers, so they do have that advantage. But in my opinion, even though the Kratos get a tad bit louder, I think the Cyber Acoustic speakers actually sound a little bit better. The Kratos speakers sound a little bit more hollow. They, um, I don't know, they don't have that full, rich uh, sound that the CA 3602s. Now, don't get me wrong; none of these are going to be filling a room. But I think that if you're standing a couple of feet away, as most people probably will be if they're playing in front of their 24-inch monitor, they probably will notice a difference if they go from the CA3602s to the Kratos S3s. The Kratos S3s are actually rated quite a bit higher than all the other speakers. They have a 92-watt peak with a 46-watt RMS rating. And the 3602s have a peak of 62 watts with an RMS rating of 30 watts. The Z150s, those poor Z150s, they have a peak of six watts with an RMS of three. And then finally the Asus internal speakers, I couldn't find the peak wattage, not that it's probably very high, but their RMS is rated at 1.5 watts. So yeah, it's very, very low. But still, I think overall, I kind of like the sound of the 3602s the best. The Kratos speakers don't sound terrible, of course, but they just, I don't know, maybe it's that dual speaker setup because it definitely has a more full sound. The other thing that the 3602s have over the Kratos speakers is not only do, does it have a wired remote with the volume control on it, it also has the bass control on that wired remote and it has headphone jack and auxiliary in. So I think overall feature set wise, the 3602s come out on top anyway. And in fact, they have a really good rating on Amazon. The thing is, they've been out for a long time. I think they first came on the market in 2009. So they're pretty old speakers by now. But it's, they still sound really good. I mean, it's not like speakers have evolved a whole bunch since then. So yeah, 40 bucks versus the uh, 60 to 80 bucks you're going to find the Kratos speakers at. I actually was finding more of them at 80 than 60, but uh, they're definitely not twice as good. So anyway, for right now, I think my recommendation is the CA 3602s, which are the, the Cyber Acoustic 3602s. All right, I'm going to play a little bit more of uh, Th Lords of Thunder. I'm actually, going to, I'm actually going to play the game. I'm going to play it first with the uh, Sound Blaster uh, X Kratos S3 speakers, and then I'm going to switch to the CA 3602s. All right, here we go with the Kratos S3s.
Here we go with the Cyber Acoustic 3602s. Yes, I can say that in conclusion, the difference between the 3602s and the Kratos S3s is not that great. It's certainly not worth double the amount of, uh, double the price, the no, double the MSRP anyway, uh, between the two. And honestly, I kind of prefer the sound of the 3602s. It just sounds a little bit fuller to me. But you picked up a set of Kratos, I don't think, uh, S3s, I don't think you're going to be upset or anything like that. And if you want, honestly, if you want a little bit more power, they are the way to go. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, unboxing and review. Let me know if you have any questions. If you like this video, please uh, make sure to actually hit the like button there. And if you want to know uh, when, I'll be, when I'll be posting new videos, just go ahead and subscribe, and you'll get an automatic notice to when I put new videos on my channel. All right, guys, until next time.